Today I'll be showing you how to install the Tissualyzer 3 and how to run your first sample. The Tissualyzer 3 requires a clean, vibration-proof bench with enough space left and right of the instrument for ventilation. Don't forget to remove the transport security locks the first time you use your instrument. For that, refer to the user manual. Make sure the power switch is in the off position. Then connect the power cord with the port next to the switch. Plug the other end of the power cord into a grounded power outlet. Now that it is plugged in, switch on the power at the back of the instrument. Wait for boot up, then open and close the hood once to engage the safety sensor. And that's it! You're ready to use your Tissualyzer 3 for effective sample disruption. Today we will homogenize soil samples with the Tissualyzer 3. They can be used later for DNA extraction with the DNEC Power Soil Pro Kit. Let's look at the touchscreen interface of the instrument. From the home screen, you can start the sample disruption run directly. Press the buttons for time and frequency and adjust to the setting required for your sample using the rotary knob. The Tischl SR3 can save up to 12 disruption programs. Seven of them are pre-installed and five are customizable. Swipe left or right to view the other disruption programs. The Tissualizer 3 also has customizable program cycles. For example, a program cycle allows you to pause the disruption run periodically. Press on a program cycle to edit or run it. For our trial run today, let's select Soil DNA from the list of programs. Now that we have selected our program, let's prepare our sample. I've weighed 250 milligrams of soil, which I am pouring into a PowerBeat Pro tube from the DNEC Power Soil Pro Kit. Now I am adding lysis buffer to the tube. You can choose from different adapters depending on your needs. Now it's time to place our sample in the adapter. Distribute the tubes evenly to ensure safe operation. Never run the Tissualyzer 3 with an empty holder and balance the load between the two adapters. Assemble the adapter. Your sample is now ready for the Tissualyzer 3. Disengage the locking pin, then place the adapter into the clamp. Turn the knob until you feel a resistance, then engage the locking pin. Turn the knob until you hear five to six clicks. Repeat this with the second adapter. Your sample is now ready to be light. After the initial run, rotate the plates to allow even disruption of the samples and restart the program. Take out your tube from the adapter. And it's that simple. You are now well on your way to a successful lysis, thoroughly homogenized samples and nucleic acid isolation. If you need support during any of these steps, download the Tissualyzer 3 user manual or contact Kaijin Technical Services at support.kaijin.com. Kaijin. Sample to Inside.